Hey guys, Taylor here from Wild Wonders Homestead and today I'm going to show you how I am making these little garden mushrooms from stuff from the Dollar Tree. Um, if you are new here and you haven't already, please uh, hit that subscribe button down below and you can also like this video if you enjoy content like this. Um, to start off, what you're going to need is a vase or some kind of base you can get different color tinted glass i got these because i was gonna experiment with them but right now i think i'm preferring the other method that i'm choosing so i'll probably make uh different ones in the future for these so you get a vase you'll need two bags of these little glass pebbles and then one bowl this bowl is in the dinner plate section at the dollar tree this and the beads are in the craft section and then you also need um, like a glue, like a resin style epoxy glue. They have the two that I'm going to insert on the screen right now. So if you're in the store and they have both of these glues, get the Loctite one over the super glue. If not, super glue will work. Um, this is one of them. I already used the black one. That's what I used to glue these purple pink gems on. And that one I preferred more than this one. Um, because it mixes as you squirt it out, where this one you have to cut the tip off of both ends, squirt it into something, mix it, and then use something to put the glue on what you need to glue. The other one, mix it as I glue, and I just squirt it on the pebble, put it on there. Uh, to make a mushroom, you're gonna need two things of glue. So I can put uh, what you'll need to make a mushroom down at the bottom. It's gonna cost you about $7.50 plus tax per mushroom if you get all of your things from the Dollar Tree. Uh, that would be a bowl, two bags of gems, a vase, and two things of glue. Um, I did try using, it's called, I think, Goop. I have a clip of it. I'm gonna try to use this. The only reason I'm trying to use this is because I bought it and we didn't need it for what I thought we needed it, and I'm not gonna let it go to waste. Okay, so this is just later on in the night of us gluing on those gems with that goop glue. Um, if the timeline's a little confusing, it's because uh, part of this is the evening and then part of this is the next day. I'm wearing the same shirt in two days, guys. I was a little bit worried about it. Uh, I let it sit overnight. I didn't know how well it was going to last because it was more of a, it just felt more rubbery, I guess, than uh, the other glue. But it actually, it actually held up really nicely and it, it, it's pretty secure too. I think it'll hold up well in the weather, but we'll see. So there's that one. This is the one from the glue from the Dollar Tree. It held up really nicely too. Uh, and I think that one's gonna do good in the weather. With that being said, just because I do it a certain way doesn't mean I think you have to do it that way um, or that I think it's the best way. There's lots of ways you can do things and I believe in using what you have and what's available to you and there's no right way or wrong way. This is just like inspiration. So with that being said, I have this big, I have a big container of resin um, that I've had for five years and why not use it? I'm out of the other glue. My Dollar Tree doesn't have any more locally. So I'm gonna try to use that. I will say the the goop stuff, you could probably get one of those containers. It was like $6 at my Ace Hardware. They might have it at Walmart. Uh, it would do probably three or four mushrooms by itself. Just remember what I'm working with in this little container is basically the same stuff as that's in these little glue bottles. It's just, I have a bigger quantity. Okay, so I don't have this glued yet um, to here, but I'm just kind of using this as almost like a turntable to glue my gems on. So I started at the top in, in the center and kind of worked my way out uh, to kind of where I felt like things were visually appealing. So in order to tape one of these gems on, I don't know if you can even see that. It looks a little chaotic, right? You got tape all over the place. You're trying not to put glue on the tape. Um, you could do it. You, you'll figure out like what's too much and what's not too much to tape. So I do a piece about this big. It's probably about two inches. And then I put my gem, uh, like the part that I want to glue to here facing up. So the flat end face, facing up. And then if you do get the glue like this, you'll, you'll be kind of doing a similar setup where you have to have something, a stick, popsicle stick, something to put the glue onto your pebble. 
And I just put a little, can you see that? I just put a little bit, enough to kind of overflow to the edges, but not seep out. And then I'll just take this, let me adjust that, put that in the center. I'll just take this and then I just stick it on there. I'll firmly press on one side and then do the other side and it will just hold. All right, so when it comes down to gluing the top to here, what I do, now if you have the little syringe version, you just squirt it around the little rim and you would be good. I'm scraping the excess off of my popsicle stick, so I scraped it off the back side. I just have kind of some sitting on the edge and I'm going to use that to wipe it on there as I turn it. So I have, you know, a solid layer on that rim, but not a lot of overflow where it drips down like into the vase or like down the outside. I would rather it almost drip inside of the vase instead of outside just because the first couple inches of this you won't really see because it's going to be inside of the like mushroom dome. I'm going to wait until I get to where I'm going to put this inside of my building to sit this lid on top. But what you're going to do is just sit your lid on top where you would like to place it and then just let it sit overnight. Um, and I'll check back in in the morning to show you all the results. All right, so this is the results the next day. I took that tape off. Um, these beads are on there solid, guys, and the lid is on there really nice. I think these turned out really cool, especially for being from the Dollar Tree and all glass. Um, this is just a little section I stuck them in for now. Um, I definitely think I want to make a couple smaller versions and just kind of add them throughout this little area. I think it'll end up uh, being really cool to look at in, the, in your garden. Um, so if you've made it this far i want to thank you for watching and also if you haven't done so so already please consider subscribing i really appreciate it and then you know if y'all have any cool garden ideas leave them down below in the comments i love reading those y'all all have a lot of really good um advice and i enjoy reading it so thank y'all again for watching and i'll catch y'all next time bye